We are constantly striving to make our classes more appealing and motivating. The question is how? That is the question. Now we know that our brain is plastic, which means we are not stuck with the brain we were born with. Certain intellectual functions are restricted to one hemisphere. Emotion is a primary catalyst in the learning process. Memory is not stored in a single location in the brain or static or unitary. There are multiple intelligences, different learning styles and emotional intelligence. It is obvious that we cannot continue using the same methods as those of our ancestors, believing that all of our students learn the same way. What is the challenge then? I believe it's to create new resources which accelerate the acquisition of the language, making the most of each student's abilities and strengths. The use of games and movies in class widens the scope of resources in an infinite way, promotes the use of both hemispheres, enhances memory, develops different intelligences and self-esteem, provides practice for the four language skills, and creates a highly motivating, secure and entertaining atmosphere which generates the desire to learn through positive competition. What is learning anyway? Learning is generally accepted as the acquiring of knowledge and skill. But let's not forget that this occurs as a result of experience. I invite you to read Dr. Wens B. Moore's definition, the best definition ever, in my opinion. She hasn't forgotten anything, has she? I strongly believe that games and movies come to students' rescue. Let's think of some of the advantages of using films in class. How do you feel when you have to plan a class including a movie session? Look at Shrek. Do you doubt about running the risk? Do you feel like running away? Do you think it's not for you? Do you get a panic attack? Or do you accept the challenge? Let's accept the challenge and use movies in class. What should we take into account when planning a movie session? The level of the students, of course the purpose of the lesson, the length of the segment, which cannot be very long, I'd say up to 10 minutes tops, 3 or 4 minutes would be perfect, choosing the right activities depending on the purpose, and being acquainted with the equipment. A basic lesson plan should include warm-up, prediction, confirming predictions, language study, and of course, an extension. Here are some activities you could include. Quite a few, huh? Is confirming predictions important? Why? 
because students' previous work on prediction makes sense. Then we move on to the language itself. Stage 1 should take care of general comprehension. Later on, we can tackle photo language work. And finally, we should include some follow-up activities. Let the real world come into the classroom. According to our students, we, teachers, are always characters. In my case, I believe so too. One of my peculiarities is that when I'm watching a movie, I can suddenly realize that that segment would be perfect for my next class. I share this peculiarity with Monica Segura, the co-author of ELT Goes to the Movies. Let me show you what happened when we saw the movie You've Got Email. We found the perfect scene for the family.